Let us pray. No. No, I know why you're happy today. You feel safe. Ladies and gentlemen, we got him. Bill Cosby has been found... Uh, guilty of sexually assaulting dozens of women, and he's been sentenced to 10 years in the White House. So, that's... Uh, no, he's, he's, he's going to jail, and he would best heed the advice that he always gave younger black men in America. Pull up your pants. Uh, that's... I don't want to really... Yeah. Now, uh, uh, Mr. Dr. Cosby, is still doctor? Maybe not. Uh, but <laughs> his lawyers are arguing for very lenient sentencing, they say, because he is completely blind. Uh, no, you're thinking of the wife. Uh, he's, he's good. But, but... Now, our president, the president who knows the best people, Another, what, it must be bad luck, huh? Because he knows the best people. Another appointment went sour. Dr. Ronnie Jackson, you know Dr. Ronnie Jackson? Yeah, he's the physician to the president. We have one of those in this country. And uh, for, he's been that way for a long time. He, uh, he was there for Obama, uh, George Bush. Uh, we didn't know a lot about Dr. Ronnie Jackson before. Uh, but then when Trump became president, Dr. Ronnie gave him his physical, remember that? And said he was in great shape and not obese at all. <laughs> and we all said, is this guy high? <laughs> and, uh, yes. Is the, is that, <laughs> he, he apparently has been very high. Uh, <laughs> apparently, he has been handing out drugs so indiscriminately, his nickname was the Candy Man. <laughs> Okay, A, how does this guy like this get to be the physician to the president? And B, is he still accepting patients? I, I, <laughs> I, I'm asking for a friend. I... But Dr. Ronnie said these false allegations, he's stepping down. He's not going to take uh, the job at the VA, which is what he was put up for. He said uh, these, these are allegations are false and they become a distraction to the president. A distraction to this president? <laughs> All he does is golf, watch TV, and eat. <laughs> How could there be a distraction? Unless you're a sand trap, a commercial, or a chicken bone, you're good. <laughs> a distraction. He need... Yeah, a distraction. He's calling Fox and Friends in the morning. Did you see that? Did you see him prank call Fox and Friends yesterday? Oh, my God. He babbled like Rain Man ate a bag of Coke. <laughs> I mean, the three... <laughs> this is where we are in this country. The three hosts of Fox and Friends looked very worried. <laughs> really. They were like, this is too stupid for us, and we're the hosts of Fox and Friends. <laughs> but, uh, but, hey, let's not forget the good news. Uh, North and South Korea. Did you see this? The presidents of North and South Korea <laughs> met. Uh, look at them. Looked like the before and after to a Slim Fast and Supercuts commercial. <laughs> and and, and what, what is with all the hand-holding these days? You know, these guys are doing it, and uh, these two could not stop doing it. The only people we can't get to do it are these two. No, they've had a lot of visitors there to the White House lately. The Japanese Prime Minister, the French President, the German Chancellor's there now. Melania loves these, these state visits. Uh, she now knows how to say, please take me with you in 16 languages. <laughs> <laughs> oh, poor Melania. It was her birthday this week. Trump, they asked him about it on Fox and Friends. Maybe I didn't get it too much. <sighs> but then they had a little ceremony at the White House, and Trump said, make a wish. And his dick fell off. <laughs> but, uh... <laughs> Well, it is, it, is a, it is a strange White House. You have to admit, when the president and his wife have no contact, and the American president and the French president, half his age, cannot keep their hands off each other. I mean, they were all over each other, these two. The hugs, the handshakes, the two-handed handshakes, the hand-holding, the cheek-kissing. I thought he was going <laughs> to... I thought Trump was going to take him furniture shopping. I mean... <laughs> at one point, Trump said, call me by your name. What the hell? <laughs> but it all 
came out. It all came out okay. They had the first state dinner the Trumps did at the White House, and, uh, you know, it was France. So they wanted it to be really classy. So they took the chicken out of the bucket.